My name is Camila Kripiars. I am a junior mechanical engineering student. I am Adam Zaha. I am a junior mechanical engineering student and I was representing the Society of Women Engineers at the Gale Borden Public Library. Society of Women Engineers is a group on campus that aims to promote and inspire our female and male engineers of Northern Illinois University. At the library we had the kids build paper bridges so we gave them a sheet of paper and they had access to other materials like paper clips and tape. We allowed them to make their own bridge and test it out uh, on two supports and then we stacked pennies on top. And so by using different shapes and designs they could make a better bridge so that it would support more pennies. And so they got to see that using these shapes that they can learn about in school that the triangles were really good for supports for a bridge. I like studying mechanical engineering because it is all about problem solving. Anything with engineering has a big aspect of design to it. That's all part of the engineering process. The biggest first step is to create a design for an eventual product or object. At the beginning of the process, you'll do research, then you'll design it, then you'll probably redesign it. With a good education from Northern Illinois University, you can have the skills to be able to make a really good design and sometimes you may fail, but that's what we learned, especially at the library, is that some bridges worked really well, and so the kids really got to see what worked well and what didn't work well. In order to best prepare yourself for studying mechanical engineering, you should focus on math and science, specifically physics, because that is the backbone of engineering. Sometimes if you see your parents doing something, working on the car, and you want to know how one of the motors is working or one of the belts is rotating, uh, you can just ask. If you have an old TV or an old electronic thing, just break it open and start looking inside and see what happens. With adult supervision, of course. 